White House is warning governors across the country to beef up their cybersecurity after hackers recently attacked several cities' water systems. Joining me tonight is Roger Kohler, Chief Information Security Officer at Huntress. Roger, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you for having me. So hacking incidents at water facilities, how vulnerable are they and what is the concern here? Is it about the drinking water itself? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, Department of Homeland Security actually stood up a uh, uh, agency, uh, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, uh, many years ago to kind of go after some of these things with the critical infrastructure. And water is one of those things that they've uh, uh, really kind of looked at. And as you know, in Detroit, there's a lot of issues in 2014 with billing and all sorts of issues. And so this is really where a lot of these systems have uh, uh, bridge their information technology networks with their operational technology. Think like billing with the, how, you, how you control it so you can measure and bill those things. And that's really opened up a lot of vulnerabilities where uh, uh, they're really concerned about right now. In some of those recent hacking incidents, what happened there? Was the water contaminated or what kinds of attacks exactly were they? Yeah, at this point, there's there's been no damage, anything that's been uh, uh, really critical, but these are uh, very simple attacks that have occurred. Like if you go look at the announcement that DHS CISA did put out, uh, some of these things just within the last couple of years uh, have been about uh, uh, advanced Chinese-backed uh, hackers, uh, as well as uh, Iranian hackers that have uh, done things as simple as using basic passwords uh, uh, because some of these places, just like what we see at Huntress when we target, uh, when we look at our SMB market, small and medium sized companies, uh, they're under resourced. Uh, and so that's where we're trying to help them out with uh, basic security and advanced security on some of these places. Yeah, so the White House says many cities don't even have those basic measures in place at their water facilities. So what does that look like? Is that just having appropriate kinds of passwords? And you mentioned advanced as well. What is the scale from basic to advanced? Yeah, some of these attacks have been very basic. Just think passwords like 1111, uh, something as simple as that have been getting in. So uh, DHS, CISA and others uh, are asking people to, to just do some basic hygiene, but it comes very difficult uh, when a lot of these places are uh, under-resourced uh, and they can't, they don't have the expertise in there. Uh, and so uh, there, there's tons of free uh, resources that DHS, CISA has put out. We put out a lot of blogs at Huntress uh, to kind of talk about some of these security things that that these uh, companies can do uh, and, and really kind of get after some of, some of these problems. Yeah, I imagine when we're talking about water facilities and systems across the country, there's a lot of red tape. I'm sure everyone kind of handles this differently. Do you think that they're receptive? Has there been a positive reaction to some of these warnings from the White House? Is it easy to get everyone on board? Yeah, I think the surprising thing is a lot of these places don't have the resources. And so when a lot of these announcements come out, they need resources for funding. They need people. Uh, I was watching uh, a, a uh, Energy and Commerce Committee uh, a, a few weeks ago talking about how the average age for uh, water operators uh, are 57 years old. And so think about how uh, we've evolved in in computers and IT and how a 57 year old is looking at these things. And so when you talk about those, uh, you know, how do you do some of those basic uh, uh, passwords en enabling multi-factor authentication patching, uh, those can be very difficult without resources to go with it. Yeah, and when you say resources, I assume you're talking about funding. Can you describe how much these improvements would cost for, I don't know, a mid-sized city? Yeah, it, some of them can be very, uh, uh, very expensive um, uh, if they try to do it internally. Uh, and so that's where they do need manpower. They need uh, funding to, to purchase these things. Again, this is where uh, we've seen Huntress, uh, we, we go after the small, medium-sized companies. And it's been really not just unique to, to water or uh, manufacturing or any other critical infrastructure. It's really across the board when we look at the SMB market. And so that's why Huntress really looked at the spaces. Hey, how do companies outside the Fortune 500 or the Fortune 1000 really get after some of these problems? Yeah, it seems like every other day we're hearing about websites or companies being hacked. Do you think that there's enough awareness about cybersecurity vulnerabilities when it comes to public utilities like this? Yeah, there, there really isn't because a lot of people think, you know, when, when they think of public utilities, they think of big energy companies, uh, they think of uh, people that have a lot of money and putting a lot of money back into, into their security. And a lot of times it's municipalities, it's small companies, 
uh, that are really running these things. And so they're, they're uh, uh, really vulnerable to these things. And so there's not a lot of awareness to this. Uh, DHS CISA has tried to put out some shields up and some other campaigns to try to drive awareness. Uh, and it's something that uh, definitely needs uh, more more uh, looking into for sure. Yeah, deeply concerning. Roger Kohler, Chief Information Security Officer at Huntress. Thanks for joining us today and helping to build that awareness. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it.